although it's uh, January 21st today, uh, I would like to say to all of my viewers and uh, everybody who's watching these videos, uh, Happy New Year and uh, I wish us all a successful uh, 2015. Okay, this is a short wrap up before I start uh, repairing my lathe. So what happened last year? Last year had been quite successful for me, especially when I think of all the reactions from my, from my viewers I got and every comment had been really, really nice. And I really appreciate all your thoughts you have and uh, everything you, you are standing behind me. As you might know, uh, last year ended up, uh, well, in one way it ended up horrible, but uh, this had been my own fault. I'll get you the story now. As you know, I made this gaming board and I haven't made the, uh, the video for it yet because I'm still kind of uh, struggling of getting all the footages together. But uh, on Christmas Eve I gave it to my mother for the second time and she said, well, I love this. And I had been real surprised because in the first place she said, well, I don't want it. Nevertheless, uh, I started talking to her and uh, I found out uh, the first time I offered it to her. Uh, actually, one of the group where she played this game with uh, died and this made the group split and uh, they don't play that game anymore. I didn't know about that. Okay, it's not my fault that he dies, but uh, died, but uh, nevertheless uh, the reaction without the uh, actually description why she had been that bad um, made me feel very bad about, about that. But nevertheless, I'm really happy. She loves the board, <coughs> and uh, actually, she hopes to get uh, together a, a new group to uh, play the game. And uh, this had been an overwhelming thing for me. Okay. Uh, as well, I like to say thank you to everybody who commented on my last video uh, about uh, what I should do and uh, I shouldn't be that bad. And you had been all right. Every, every everyone who commented had been had been right. And uh, I would love to um, answer every comment, but uh, as you see here. Uh, it takes a long time to talk and it takes longer to write and I couldn't do that because of other things happening. Okay, I got uh, great support from my, my viewers. Uh, actually, uh, as you might notice, uh, no, Robbie sent me the, uh, the bull gouges and I, I really love to take them into into action. And uh, the other one had been Vic who sent me a, a pair of digital calipers and uh, I really like love these because the old ones I showed on there they had been metric and imperial and uh, the I, I had no uh, nothing to measure imperial so this one is doing it uh, so thanks Vic for for the calipers I really love them uh, the next package I got I had been well I, I really love that package and uh, this came from from Christopher Fisher you might know him as the blind turner and he had a sign in here which says, 
on the one side, which says uh, Pete TGIF, the name of this channel, and on the other side, it says friend. And uh, Chris, I really love this, but uh, I'll, I'll uh, explain why I couldn't answer that uh, that video in the and. Uh, I couldn't show my appreciation for that up to now. So, uh, Chris, thank you very much, and I hope we'll stay in contact, although I had been off uh, video now for about, uh, well, three, four weeks now, and uh, I would love to comment on, on videos of yours, but... Uh, um, I had to deal with my own problems at this time. So I'll put this up and uh, whenever I see this, whenever I go to my lathe, I'll watch the sign saying friend and I know there are friends out there. Uh, this hadn't been enough. One day before uh, Christmas Eve, I received another package from uh, Sebastian and Helena, two viewers of mine. They don't make videos, but uh, nevertheless, they thought to uh, cheer me up and send me uh, a Christmas present. And in this uh, present they sent me, there had been there are a lot of things for future projects I I can. Uh, do and I can show to you. So thank you very much Sebastian and thank you very much Helena for your awesome uh, package I received and uh, now uh, I'll just describe why I had been away that long. Uh, like everything life uh, needs you don't only need air and love but you need some food and you need some shelter to actually live and uh, during the last couple of years I have been just living on a pension and everything I made here although it had been cheap compared to real um, uh, real therapy, uh, it everything costs money, and uh, actually I uh, spent all money I had I had I could uh, save before I got ill, and actually, well, you might call it that way. I'm at this stage today. I'm bankrupt, so. This means I have to decide whether to buy some wood or to buy some food. So this is uh, this had been a very bad thing, and I have been thinking of whether I should uh, tell you. But I, I'll I'll keep it that way. Okay, I managed to as I can stand without my my woodworking, and oh another thing. Somebody says IKEA has no use for us woodworkers. <laughs> See what Christopher Fisher as well sent me. These little pencils, and he sent me a bunch of them. <laughs> and there, this is a very, very useful thing in a shop from IKEA. So, <laughs> just one thing. Okay, what happened? Actually, the my lathe uh, went bad. Well, it's ten years old now, although I'm just turning one and a half year on it on a regular basis. But um, these uh, the electrical parts in there, some of them, they get old. And uh, inside here, there is a capacitor, uh, which makes the the lay uh, which makes the, the motor start. I'll explain that one after my 
introduction now and I'll show you well actually I had to buy this one here and this is one of the decisions I made buy this one or buy some food okay I, I bought this capacitor and that's the that's the thing which is broken in, in here and I'll explain you in the next couple of minutes how a capacitor works and why it is needed okay so follow me along how I repair my lathe and uh, I hope I can uh, I, I can now when this is done I hope I can get to some projects from Sebastian and Helena I got some wood and uh, some special things I don't want to talk about that at the moment from <coughs> excuse me Christopher Fisher also sent me some wood and uh, the <laughs> these nice pencils and I'm able to do a couple of projects now with this uh, without spending any money except this one here so this is about 15 euros which means a week of food for me but nevertheless I have to do this now and I have to repair my lathe otherwise I can't continue with my therapy and uh, can't continue with the things I love to do okay so thank you very much for listening to this first rant of the year and I hope we'll have a couple of nice projects coming up in the next couple of weeks and months and see how things work out. Uh, okay, so come along, come near to me and I'll show you what happened here.
they are just cut off the capacitor and the most important part on exchanging the capacitor is to get the uh, capacitor with the with the same dimensions not regarding the width and the length but regarding the electrical I call it dimensions so this one says 8 microfarad and 450 volts the one I'm going to exchange with looks a little different, but it also says 8 microfarad and uh, 450 volts. So it's quite different to the one I had here, but uh, I'll make it, up. I'll put it to, uh, on a different place, but nevertheless. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, as you got the, the two connectors, I go ahead and connect them to the where I just cut off the the old one. Okay, I'll go ahead and take this one here off as well as this might <coughs> as this might interfere here or make some you just have to be careful not to cut it too short, otherwise it won't work. Okay. okay, what I've got here is a special tool which actually, uh, where you are actually able to get the isolation of the strip, the, the cable, without, well, I have to adjust that. Uh, strip the cable without cutting into the into the wires as these wires shouldn't be damaged at all because otherwise you might end up with a shortcut or they break when you damage these wires they might break off and this also leads to problems so I go ahead and take off the isolation here so what you should do now is you shouldn't twist these in advance but you just put them to the to the new cable uh, well to the old cable and you twist both of them together now I've got one of these big thingies here and they go on top here and I'll crimp that okay now the the actual the the cop the copper is coming out of the this side and I'll use this here in order to crimp that. I'm not welding this one as when you weld these pieces they might break off. So this is enough. I don't know whether you can see that but that's the way Okay, this is it. Now you might notice that it isn't isolated. This is one of the important. I got this tube here, and that's a special, special thingy. Just cut off a little. Second one. And just slide this over the the connectors. And now the fun part starts. Okay, now the fun part starts. As you see here, this is the tube I just put over the, the connector.
connector and I'm using my heat gun here and just heat it up. Like a miracle, the tube shrunk. Okay, the old capacitor had been inside a housing like this. The new one does not go in there because, well, the cable. This one here is longer and this one here is longer and doesn't fit in. So now I just accept my nine. stock and actually these two screws here uh, they are just blind screws it's nothing to hold on nothing to thread on so I remove this one here get this out of here and with this So, I'll go ahead and mount the new capacitor here from the inside. I'll go ahead and get this. is actually does not move. I got one of these funny uh, nuts with the with the washer inside which won't come loose. I'm just using the old the old washer here and I screw this one on here. So, okay, just get the right one, which is, should be this one here. inside here fixed and then I'll show you before I close the actual board here I'll show you what I made okay so almost everything is back now you just have to ensure that this cable isn't getting into contact with the with the shaft here uh, which would be a bad idea, you know, uh, otherwise you'll end up destroying the cable and I'm just using these wire strap here and uh, just mount this on, connect the, the cables here so they won't get into contact with moving parts in, on the inside here. This is also a really important thing when you are doing maintenance that this isn't getting into contact. Okay, so this is it. So I'll go ahead and 
close the close the side and see whether it's working or oh, I can see whether it's working I'll just put on the belt here and it starts running that's what it should do ah great just repaired my lathe okay so just put this together now and give you a short overview what happened. So thank you very much for following me along how I repaired my my lathe and what I said is um, mentioned about the motors of, of lathe. It uh, fits for single phased motors as uh, the, the capacitor well, actually simulates a second phase which gets the, the motor running. And this is perfect. I just mounted a branch of uh, cherry here. And, uh, well, this might be my next project, but this is one thing I'm working on. And I'll go ahead and test this now for the next half an hour or so and see whether the motor is uh, heating up or whether I got uh, more issues on, on the on this thing and now just uh, let me do some shavings well this actually feels real nice and I can't feel any any heat in here, so <laughs> I think this is it. Nice shavings. Thingy starts, and that's the way I wanted it to. So let me get this into shape and see. something out of it.